What's up, everybody? Jason here for JaspiesCaseBreaks.com 2022 Topps Chrome Baseball Jumbo Edition. Uh, just sold out. This is a eight box case break. Pick teams number seven. All card ship. And again, guys, we did get to do a little team random. So if you have a little character sign at the end of your name, that means you won that from a team random. We had a 16 team random. Everybody else did buy in straight up, though. I appreciate that. Oh, Rex, what, what time do you get out of work? Like early in the morning, right? So. So I guess, yeah, you, are, did you just wake up? I figured you'd just be wake up, right? All right, then we got a jumbo case going off here. Eight boxes of jumbo. Mumbo jumbo. Nice. Good dad, Rex. Good dad. How far is, since you work so close, how far is like the school? I guess far enough to take the bus, right? Instead of walking. I grew up, uh, literally, like I grew up in a cul-de-sac, like a dead end street, so. Legit, uh, I live like in the middle of the cul-de-sac. If, if I walked out to the main street, I'd cross, uh, which would be fine view, or I'd cross the street. My middle school is right there, like legit across the street. I was right in the field entrance. So for middle school, obviously my, <laughs> my dad and my parents loved it. They didn't have to like drive me or potentially take a bus. They just, just let me walk to school. My elementary school was probably like two, three blocks away. So that one, I think they did drive me. Every once in a while, I wasn't walking home with friends. Do four boxes at a time like we have been doing them and then we'll uh, go through the four boxes and then go through the hits. Oh, three, four miles away. That's actually pretty far. I think my high school might have been the farthest. But even that was only like a mile away. I, I did get driven to school though. There was times where I did walk home from school after football practice. But for the most part, my dad did pick me up. At that point, I think pretty much like halfway through my elementary, he basically kind of retired, but he was kind of forced to retire. He had like a shoulder injury that required like metal plates and stuff. So he, uh, he already had worked his like 30 years. So he retired and that. So, I mean, my dad was always there to be able to take me to work or take me to work, but to school, I should say. But, no, I mean, the bus is actually, I mean, it's a bit, I mean, might as well, right? I mean, might as well use the bus. I actually always envied my friends that actually use, bus, like, the bus and stuff like that, you know? Because I thought it was always cool, like, they kind of meet up and then, and then, uh, especially the ones that live nearby each other, take the bus, but... Damn, Rex, what are you going to do, man, when they're in high school? 
Or when they're like 18 already. Are you gonna celebrate? <laughs> I remember my, uh, my nephew's dad, by the time he was married to my sister, he'd be like, I'll be celebrating when my nephew was at 18 years old. <laughs> He's like, I don't gotta pay anything for him no more. No, that, that is true. Obviously, you know, I don't have any kids. Me and my wife, not as of yet, but that is true, right? I think as they get older, I mean, it's the same for me with my nephew and even my niece. You know, I kind of kind of missed that part when they were kind of like, you know, like babies, toddlers and shit, you know? Like, yeah, they wanted to do everything with you. Now they're just like, get away from me, dad. You know, they don't even think you're cool anymore, but they don't realize you are still. <laughs> But yeah, that's how I, that's how I want my niece. Like, my niece is like, my niece is already 16. And like, when me and my wife first started dating, almost like, what, 12 years ago now? We just celebrated 12 years. Like, she was like four years old, you know? It's like crazy. Oh, Daniel, um, yeah, I, I, um, there was a little mistake early on. I, I seen you bought into the team random earlier, but I, I think Nick forgot to take out those 12 teams that were left over. So I did refund you for that Padres because they're technically tied into the team random. But, um, uh, if you purchased via PayPal with funds, you should get it instantly. If, uh, if you didn't, then uh, use a debit credit card. Sometimes it takes a couple business days, maybe one to two. But uh, I had to refund you for that purpose just because, you know, technically that team was shouldn't have been available. But, uh, oh, actually, you know what? It says it, it says it got refunded to a gift card. So actually, it should go automatically, actually. So you should be able to use that gift card and it should be able to work. Um... After this break, I can try to figure it out. Because um, obviously I'm in the middle of a break, but it says 175 was refunded to the gift card, so I, it should go back instantly, honestly. You know? So. Yeah. And to be honest, Daniel, you actually have another gift card from like August. To be honest, too. So let me, let me resend you the codes for both. But you also have a $125 gift card from like August. <laughs> so don't forget about that one. You know, if you want to use that one in the meantime. Well, actually, now it says it only has $28. So actually, you must have just used it right now. It says you only have $28 available. So I'll resend it too. How weird, it just showed me 170 something and now it says $28. Maybe it did go through. Yeah, it did go through. 
I just need you to place an order right now. So yeah, it worked. All right, here we go, guys. So again, this case actually doesn't seem too stuck for the most part, Spencer Strider. Um, seems like the cards are actually not that stuck, which is great, but there will be some parts where they're gonna be a little stuck, but I'll kind of be able to skim through them just as normal, like hobby. Rodolfo Castro, so like this part right here is definitely stuck. Ivan Castillo and Kiba Ruiz right there. Heart of the city. Zach Wheeler, number to seventy five. And a Kyle Seeger. Damn. Why not be a Julio? That's a blue right there to 150. Carlos Correa. Whoop. Put that right back up there. Wander Franco. Another Wander Franco. Check out the Grom. Trent Grisham. And Patrick Wisdom. And Spencer Watkins, number to 250. Rafael Devers. Devers again right there to 250. And we got a Wander Franco answer, Josh Hayden. Heard someone yelling in the store, maybe somebody pulled something. Price and stock to four ninety nine. Angel Zerpa. Tyler McGill to 350. New York Cruise Base. Anthony Bender. Negative Blake Snell.
and a Jake Berger gold. Uh, that's thirty-four fifty for the White Sox. Going to Matthew. Running boats to one ninety nine. Really Castro. Next one. Corbin Burns. Hands Cross. Tyler Gilbert. Zone, I'm going to Inku. And a Josh Lowe. Purple. For the Tampa Bay Rays to 299. Rays is going to Sean Maddox straight up. Heart of the City, Wander Franco, Ramon Tapia. Griffin Jacks for the Minnesota Twins to 199. Uh, Minnesota Twins, that's going to go to Chris Maxwell. Judge, nice O'Neill Cruz refractor. And uh, Pirates straight up is Chad. Pete Alonzo to 99. Tatis, is that a short print? It is a short print. Short print Tatis Jr. for the Padres. That is going to Jeremy Port. Blowing some bubble gum and leaping in the air. Jake Cousins. Alright guys, we're down to six left on that uh on the uh gold standard team random. If you guys want to do that. I know it's early, but uh that one's really close. 
Started off, I believe, with like 12 spots or 11 spots, and then, like I said, down to six left. All right, last box here, and then we'll go with the next four boxes. Woodruff. We got a Jonathan India pink. Gabriel Rice. And a Jake McCarthy for the Cardinals. Or not Cardinals. Diamondbacks, I should say. To 250. Nice one there for Zona. Eli Morgan. Zach Pop, Pop, Yo Park, and a Rossi Contreras for Pittsburgh. That's a little gold wave to fifty. Breggy, Aaron, what's going on, buddy? How are you, man? Heart of the City. And a Brian De La Cruz for Miami. Steve with that one to two ninety nine. Yeah man, there's a lot of pictures, man. That's for sure. It's like the vets that they decided to use were a lot of pictures, right? So yeah, guys, gold standard football looks really nice. One of the nicer, higher-end stuff to er release early uh, in this football season. And we might be getting a chance to see Malik Willis soon. You never know. Tie-ins are the top team available in that team random. So I believe there was, uh, I think, 12 spots to start off or so. We're going to give away a free early bird spot or something like that. Uh, yeah, free early bird for the first nine that buy. There's six left. So let's try to get that done, guys. Times are the biggest team. The worst team, even the Browns, are like 40 bucks. So even at then, that that's not even too bad, you know. Sometimes some team randoms are like two, three hundred dollars, and you know, or, or over a hundred, and then the worst team's like 30 bucks. This one's only 70. So if you guys want to get that one going, I would love to do that and the little Chronicles before I head off. So we still have plenty of time. We're down to six left on that uh, team random. Like I said, I think it's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13 teams. So yeah, we sold 12 spots, 13 teams.
All right, I'm getting a couple orders and nice that uh, team random now is down to f three left. So we can run that right now after this, guys. Thank you guys, whoever purchased. Here we go, guys. Last four boxes here. Zach Thompson. So yeah, this this stuff hasn't been too stuck compared to all the other jumbles I've done. But there are some parts of the box that are going to be a little stuck. But it's actually allowed me to go through this stuff a little faster now that I don't really have to stick apart too many of the cards. We got a Brian Reynolds to 75. Francisco Perez. And then Alexander Wells. With Merrifield. Wow, and a Jose Abreu autograph. 35th anniversary, number to 50. It's from 1987 tops. Nice one there for the White Sox. Going to Matthew. That's pretty nice. Right now. City, Connor Wong, a little Soto, Freddie Freeman, number to 350, and Videl Brujan.
All right, next box. And a Cal Rally. Damn, getting everybody but Julio, all right? Number to 150 for the Mariners. Brandon Marsh, Glenn Otto for the Rangers. Pros and a little Max Muncy. Max Muncy is not a short print. De La Cruz. It's our second De La Cruz there. Ian Half, nice little color match blue for the Cubs. Going to Matthew. Jordan. Yeah, well, Finest actually should have been coming out by now, Rex. But the fact is that they just, Andre Jackson for the Dodgers, they just released Topps Chrome. So uh, if we are still going to get, like, Finest, it won't be for another month or so, or a couple months, if anything. I don't even know if it's on the calendar. But, yeah, Topps Chrome, this stuff would have come out, like, I want to say, like, in the early summer or, like, June or something like that. David Ortiz, this would have been out a while ago already. So yeah, you can tell they're really behind. Cause yeah, Finest would have been out by now. Also, just a little FYI, guys, for the people that are buying into that uh, Topps Chrome Team Random for number eight. Um, I don't know if the list got corrected. I think it still shows the 16 teams. I was so confused earlier. I didn't know <laughs> uh, what my list was for number seven because the number eight was uploaded. But uh, I, I'm not going to do that break. I'll probably leave it to uh, to Joe to do that when he gets here at three so he can like kind of figure that part out. Um, I haven't got a word back from Nick or anything like that, so. Because I need to figure out what the prices were and stuff like that. Uh, for each team still remaining, so. Uh, after this, I'm just going to try to focus on doing that gold standard and, and if anything, that uh, chronicles. And he'll be the first one to do that for you guys when he gets here. I'll try to figure it out in the meantime, though, if those breaks don't sell out. But I, I probably won't do that break. San Martin. Patrick saying it's is set to come out in December. Yeah, that's late, dude. December usually it's all about like uh, Bowman draft, if they even are going to make that again, you know? Joey Window. For the Mariners to four ninety nine. Freddie Freeman, Vidal Bruhan. Blue.
Lake, Lake Snow. Alex Wells. Ronnie Dawson for the Astros. And a Juan Soto. That's our second short print from this case. Very nice. Ending in 17. So we've got a Tati short print, now Juan Soto. Matthew with the Nationals. Nice. Stuck together. Bobby Delbach. TJ Friedel. Breggy and Joey Auto. Last box here, guys. Good luck. Carvin Castro for the Giants. Joe Ryan, Minnesota Twins, and a Jose Siri. The only dude that decides to not autograph where he's supposed to. <laughs> to four ninety nine. Heart of the City, Rizzo. Whoa, Romy Gonzalez, what is that? It's for the White Sox. I feel like I have seen his autograph before, but it's still always shocking. Now Verlang. Oh, no problem, Rex. Yeah, I was agreeing with you saying that it should have been out by now, but also Topps Chrome should have also come out months ago too. So, yeah, you can tell they're really behind. And then Patrick just said that it looks like it's scheduled to come out in December. And I said, Dad, that's crazy because usually that's like Bowman draft time, you know? So, I mean, you can tell everything is now kind of like this is like the new norm. Everything's going to kind of be delayed now. Joey Window. And Mike Bauman for the Orioles. Carlos Santana to two ninety nine. And here's the last little stack here. There you go, guys.
Yeah. Honestly, I love that Lennon Ginster, but not many people did, though. So I think it was a little easier to kind of cut that one out. Archive, though, Archives was fun. I think Archives... At least my buddy Gary loves that stuff. He loves the old retro designs, you know, and he always loved ripping that himself personally, so I know he'd be pretty bummed about that. But, like I said, Alan and Ginter, not everybody did enjoy. And uh, I just think it was a little easier for them to cut out that product. But I feel like for Archives, I mean, that kind of does suck, though. You know? That one was always fun to rip. It was just so hard to, like, it was just so base heavy that, I mean, to ship everything, it was just so costly. Alright guys, I'll do a quick little recap. I gotta top load all these autographs, but of course you get five per box. And uh, like I said, Mike Ballman, Joey Wendell, Romy Gonzalez, little Siri for the Astros. Actually, I'm just gonna call out actually the, the team names, so that way sometimes people don't even care for the autographs. But uh, Houston Astros Auto there. We got uh, White Sox, Marlins, Orioles, that is Giants, Reds, Houston, Baltimore again there, Miami again, Reds, Dodgers, Marlins, Phillies, Rangers, Seattle Mariners there, uh, Red Sox, Royals, Nationals, another one there for the Marlins, nice De La Cruz there for the Marlins, it's a purple speckle, another Marlins hit there, Jake McCarthy purple there for the Diamondbacks, Urias, Cleveland, uh, that is for the Brewers. Another one for the Brewers there. Jackson Griff, color there. For the Twins, Josh Lowe, TB, Rays, Diamondbacks, Phillies, Yankees. Jake Berger was really nice, too, for the White Sox. Uh, that was a nice little gold. Then we have uh, Anthony Bender there for the Marlins. Then Royals, Phillies. Spencer Watkins, purple there for the Brewers. Or not Brewers, for the Orioles. Cubs there. Kyle Seeger blue for the Seattle Mariners. Padres and Spencer Strider. We had one relic, which was David Ortiz. And then we had that Jose Abreu 1987 to 50. Tops autograph card. And then we did hit two short prints. We hit a Tatis short print and a Juan Soto short print. So not too bad right there. So this was Pikachu team number seven. Jaspies, casebreaks.com, guys. Thank you.